What's up guys, Invisible Jiu Jitsu, Shiro helping again. We're gonna do why you're screwing up with your Peruvian necktie. And there's a couple ways. Shiro loves Peruvian neckties. <laughs> Did you hear that sir? Come on to turn. I didn't know what was coming. He didn't know what we were gonna do, and now we're gonna do this. So, I'm in my front headlock. Ah, pressure. Pop up, sit, boom. Get a, get a close on his face. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. There's a, two big reasons why most people fail the Peruvian necktie. Yeah? And they're reasons that uh, enable him to pull his head out. Okay? So I'm gonna show you how I do it, and I'm gonna talk through the couple reasons why people usually fail. So if you come back to Turtle, this time I won't actually put the lock on and make him gurgle. Okay, like his jab of the hut in Return of the Jedi. All right? I lock my hands off. Yeah, you could have started, like in our previous video, with trying to turn him over for the, uh, for the, the, the Darce choke. And now I come back in, high, and then I sit off to the side, pressure with my arms, leg over the back, and there is my Darce, uh, there is my Peruvian necktie sorry. Number one, failure is not falling to the side. So if we go back, I link my hands. I like a, a chain grip so that I can bring the, the, the knuckle of my thumb into play right in the middle of his throat here. Okay, so as I pop up, number one mistake now is falling this way and the head pops out. Okay, I want to fall at 90 degrees. Today. So as we pop up, I get to a position that looks like this, and now I fall 90 degrees so that always my leg is covering the back of his head. From here, a nice squeeze, obviously, I would have the leg over the back or the leg trapping. I've seen some people talk about crossing too. Not a massive fan, I'm not particularly flexible. We'll try it, see how far you get with that. So that's number one, not falling in the right direction. Uh, number two, is not going enough over him. Watch how exaggerated my pop-up is. As I pop up, I have completely left my, my hands behind. Okay, my hands are right down here, but my head is closer to Shiro's ass, okay, or his bum in England. Now, when I fall to the side, my leg always covers the head and there's always pressure and that head is not popping out. Okay, crossing over the top, extending to finish. If I don't cover enough ground forward, even if I fall to the side, you've not covered the back of the head. Okay, so done wrong, usual failure point, it looks like this. You put the pressure on and you step up and you fall something like that. Now obviously I exaggerated the leg movement, the touch. Yeah, if we go slower, yeah, I'm covering his head. But as I fall to the side now, Shiro just moves back a little bit, pops his head out, and that's how we end up in a failure point. Okay? What I want is to go right over the top of it. Okay, so now even if he tries to pull his head out, it's incredibly difficult. Okay, and then once I get to here, I'm now straight arms, extending my legs, and using my back to finish like this, okay? It looks weird when I don't do it with Shiro, okay? So those are the reasons why your Peruvian necktie is probably failing and how you can very simply correct that, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, like the video, leave me a comment, uh, say something nice, something not nice, okay? See you again.